What's up guys, I'm Zach and yes, we are back looking at another pair of Crocs for anyone who is familiar with me and my channel, you guys will know that I review a lot of Crocs and that's purely and selfishly because I love Crocs and when I heard about a Pringles and Crocs collaboration coming on the rise, I honestly wasn't excited. I, I thought Crocs and Pringles, how is that going to work? However, I will give it to them. They managed to exceed my expectations as Croc has done many times in the past. And I love this pair. So we're going to get into the two pairs that I picked up today. I managed to pick up both of the main clogs from this collaboration. Getting straight into it, just want to quickly mention the packaging that it comes in it is a pretty much a chip bag itself. I like when collaborations put a little bit more effort into their packaging, their unboxing experience, giving you a feel for the actual collaboration. Very cool. Looks like a chip packet. That's pretty much it. But we're not here to look at the packaging. So we're actually here to look at the crux. So we're going to start from my least favorite to favorite. That's not to say I don't like them, but we're starting, we're starting with the ones that will be sent back, unfortunately. And that's purely because red, orange, I can't really see myself wearing it as much as I would with the blue and green pair. And that's pretty much the only reason. And I honestly don't need two of these in my collection in terms of two pairs. With that being said, getting into some of the details about this pair, let's talk about the most polarizing aspect other than the fact that it is red and orange and it's bright. It's bright. People will see you wearing these from far away. D trust me, I, I wore these out twice and the amount of looks I got was surprising. I like, I, I know with like loud polarizing Crocs and I've worn my Lightning McQueen Crocs out before that you're going to get some looks, but these ones, yeah, these are, these are definitely in some lookers. With that being said, getting into the actual material, because I feel like that's something very interesting to mention. It almost feels like a rubber coating with this actual pan leather looking type material it's quite shiny it's it's very very smooth and i will say as much as i love this material and it, and it looks fantastic as the light's hitting it there with the orange Let's check out the red up close as well as you can see very reflective very reflective as you will see it on feet as well the only thing that i don't like about that is that i feel like it's going to get dirty very quickly now that's not to say that crocs are really you know bad when they get dirty i feel like you're meant to wear your crocs there's something you throw on go out it's like a slide you beat them up but it is something to mention nonetheless that i feel like these will age a little bit faster or perhaps get a little bit dirtier and more quicker than your typical type of clogs and that's purely because this like shiny sheen type material that they've sprayed over the actual foam it does have a little bit of a stick to it so if my hand is sticking to it a little bit you can imagine dust, dirt, grime, etc. would also be sticking to this material. However, getting into some of the actual details on these pairs here, Crocs is known for the little minute details and they're great at collaborations. I feel like ever since the Lightning McQueen pair, they've been building and building and building and just been getting bigger, better every single time. With that being said, the Pringles details, that matter here. You're going to get some branding right there on the insole. You also get the Crocs branding on one side of that back heel there. And you also have the Pringles logo on the other side there. And as you would have noticed, the back tab right here is actually the mustache from the mustache man from the Pringles can, which is very interesting. It's very interesting to see. Yeah, it looks actually quite interesting on feet. It actually doesn't look too bad. And oddly, it adds comfort because you're getting a little bit more support from how wide it is at the back. Just a thing that, that I've noticed as I've worn these, they actually feel a little bit more locked in, a little bit more comfortable because of how thick that back portion is there, as you can see right there. Moving into some other details, other than the fact that it is glossy red, obviously these colors are to represent the different type of Pringles flavors and cans that are out there. You also do have that outsole, which is almost like flavoring towards the bottom there with the little speckles. And then of course, coming to the front, you do have the gibbet. Now, they only range differently with one item between the two pairs, which you will see in a moment. So getting into the left foot here, you do have the Pringle Man there. Very good detail in terms of the gibbets here. I feel like the best that I've seen in a collaboration in terms of like the execution, the depth, the details, very, very high quality gibbets. You do have an actual Pringle chip there, which is Pringle branded. And you do have an actual Pringle can. Now this Pringle can is original flavor to represent the red and that is different to the other pair which we will be looking at in a moment. Getting into the right foot, you do have the Pringles logo as a gibbet just there that I have upside down. 
and you also have another Pringles man with his eyes sort of swirling there which is different than the happy version as you can see right there just an interesting difference between those two silhouettes there and as you can see they look fantastic on feet i feel like the way to wear these is white socks gray sweats let them be loud have a bit of a neutral outfit and just let that pop of color happen towards the bottom of the silhouette now moving into my favorite colorway this is the one that i will be keeping the one that i'm in love with we have the blue and the green pair now this right here is the perfect combo. I feel like I really do sort of gravitate towards those cooler colors. Now, as you can see with this one, instead of the original flavor, it's interesting that it's on the actual blue sneaker, but it makes good sense to put it over here on the green one. You do have the exact same gibbets with the smiling man, the Pringles can and the chip, but you will notice with the actual Pringle can, this one is sour cream and cheese. If we can focus right there. So definitely different than the originals can. And it wasn't something I had noticed at first. I've actually had to do this review twice because the camera quality was awful and I didn't notice it originally, but looking back, I'm glad I noticed it now. And of course you've also got those same gibbets just on the other pair right there with the Pringles logo and the man with the smelly swelling eyes. Now, with that being said, this is definitely my favorite pair. As you can see, I think it looks much better on feet and that's personally just because I love green and blue a lot more than the red and orange. The red and orange, I don't feel like I would ever wear. However, these cooler colors, I definitely do gravitate towards a lot more. And with a cruise coming up, and I need a pair of Crocs, you gotta wear Crocs around a cruise. These are gonna be my go-tos. Now, that being said, let's quickly get into sizing because I'm not sure if you guys don't own a pair of Crocs by now, which would be shocking because Crocs are like the most comfortable and oddly sort of trendy you know, silhouette right now in terms of the clogs. With that being said, Croc sizing, I typically wear a size US 12 in Nike, Jordan, Adidas, New Balance, Asics, all five brands. However, with Crocs, I would recommend going one size down. So I did pick these up in a size 11 and they fit perfectly, not tight at all. If anything, I do have a little bit of extra room. So I would recommend going one size down from your true to size. So if you're a size 11, go for a 10. If you're a 10, go for a nine and etc. And that will be the best fit for you guys. I am typically a little bit on the wider side of my foot and that is still no problem. As you can see, Crocs are a little bit more wider towards that toe box region there. With that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I know it was a shorter one, but I just wanted to check out these Crocs and obviously I just love Crocs. And I, we have another Croc video on the way and I am trying to get my hands on the SpongeBob and Patrick collaboration coming out. Regardless, I'll end up getting it, but I, I, I ideally want to get it early or figure out some way to collaborate with a brand. Regardless, we're working on that. With that being said, let me know down in the comment section down below which colorway out of the two was your favorite. With that being said, guys, if you did enjoy the video, feel free to drop a like down below. It's the best way to let me know that you guys are enjoying the content and want to see me do more videos in the future. It's the best way of motivating me to keep pumping out content. With that being said, as I said, I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope to see you next one. See ya.